I'm here at HPE Discover in Madrid with Chris Lynch, and we've talked about OneView a few times in the past, but yep. tell me what's new this time. Uh, so uh, OneView 4.10 is what's shipping today. Uh, new advances we made in server profile management to enhance experiences around firmware management. Uh, so traditionally, customers would have to manage autonomous unit single entities, if you will, uh, of, of deploying new, uh, new settings, like say firmware uh, as an example. Um, cluster, hypervisor cluster management is a new feature in 4.10 that allows customers to uh, deploy those updates as a single entity of a cluster instead of individual server profiles. So to, using the same uh, compliance uh, remediation functionality that we've been shipping in one view of taking the server profile template, making or adjusting your changes there, uh, the new hypervisor cluster profile would show customers, hey, my system's not compliant, my cluster's not compliant, and we can roll through that non-disruptively, put the system in maintenance mode, drain VMs, do perform that maintenance, even reboot the system if necessary, bring it back online, uh, and rinse and repeat throughout the entire cluster. Uh, other enhancements we made, uh, respective to brownfield installations, a lot of customers have asked us to be able to apply profiles while they're powered on for things like firmware and, and BIOS settings. We can do that with Gen 9 and newer. Uh, Gen 8, we can apply a server profile for online firmware only. More of a restriction of the platform itself, more than anything else. Um, and also, uh, for our Synergy customers, uh, uh, those that are building out on-premise on private cloud, which to tie in with Cisco ACI, uh, we can uh, integrate tenant networking capabilities and being able to uh, remediate compliance differences of what ACI, it being the single source of truth for network pre uh, fabric management, tying into network tenant, uh, tenant configuration and uh, segmentation for customers, be able to provision that all the way into the compute side and uh, on the logical interconnect groups. So one of the big areas of, of Composable has been the idea of being able to tie into all of the public cloud solutions as right. well. How does OneView fit in with that? Great question. So uh, with the releasing of, of OneSphere and their rapid development schedule, uh, they've been tying into One, OneView for on-premise private cloud management. So the, the key one of the key features I talked about, the hypervisor cluster manager, they're able to tie in with that feature to deploy on-premise VMware private clouds for customers. They wish to flex between, say, Azure or Google Cloud or Amazon uh, to pull in resources or flex between public into private, private into public. Um, and VMware being the, the, the primary use case there for, for, uh, for private cloud. And then with our announcement here at Discover 2018 in Madrid uh, with uh, Composable Cloud uh, with uh, ProLiant DL, uh, OneView is at the heart of that product. Uh, while not be exposed to customers today, um, it is the driving engine under the covers, very similar to a hyper-converged platform uh, before SimpliVity acquisition. Uh, being able to ma manage and monitor the underlying hardware platform and tying it into uh, our VMware plugin into vCenter. And, and I know in between the last time we talked and now, um, I think Plexi was acquired. Is there is there anything new around OneView and Plexi yet, or is that uh, yet to be uh, discussed in the so future? So that, that, that is the composable cloud with oh, okay, uh, ProLine okay. DL. I know the naming can be a little confusing, <laughs> but you, you know, marketing is marketing. So, But yes, that, that is that is the, the product uh, that we're announcing here at Discover, um, here and, and it'll be available on the show in Florida show. All right, thank you. Thank you.